While the winter chill is affecting people all around Chicagoland, some electric vehicle owners are also dealing with a few of the biggest issues, such as shorter battery life and lengthy waits at charging stations. Tesla drivers in Chicago were on hold on Monday due to the freezing temperature that was enveloping much of the country. Many of the cars had long lineups at supercharger locations, and the owners claimed that the cold made it harder for the electric cars to normally charge and maintain a charge. Welcome to Trade Tales TV. Friends, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any newly uploaded videos. And hang on till the end of the video, as the end will be really helpful for you. Now let's move on. Local TV news reported upon scenes when tow trucks were sent in to move the cars. The suffering of the Tesla owners came to represent the suffering that the excessive cold is causing to large areas of the United States. Owners of Teslas wait in line to get charged. While automobile horns shouted all around, Tesla driver Brandon Welburn said to CBS News Chicago, I've been here for over five hours at this point and I still have not gotten to charge my car. A charge that should take 45 minutes is taking two hours. Several other drivers reported that the cold seemed to drain their batteries faster than usual. The difficulties that Tesla owners encounter are not restricted to the automaker. From smartphones to the Model S vehicle, lithium-ion batteries are employed in many devices. However, they are infamously sensitive to cold, especially in below freezing temperatures. The effects of cold on batteries are evident to everyone who has ever watched their phone's charge indicator drop when they step outside in the chilly weather and then rise back inside. No problems are reported by other Tesla drivers. Living in the community of LaGrange, west of Chicago's Midway Airport, Christine Maslin tells NPR that she spent one chilly day this week traveling between 80 and 100 miles in her family's Tesla. It was easy to start and charge, as I did it in our garage at home," commented Maslin, who runs a Chicago-based Tesla owner's Facebook page. We do get less mileage on the battery in extreme temps, which means we have to charge more often when it's chilly out," she stated. According to Maslin, the issues being brought up this week appear to be centered around lengthy lineups at supercharger locations. She does, however, note that in her almost 10 years as a Tesla owner, she has never had to wait for a supercharger space. For sure, Tesla has some advice for the issue. Tesla advises keeping the car plugged in and keeping its charge at least 20% in order to handle extremely cold temperatures. The primary point of view from Tesla's cold weather best practices guidance is to get your car ready for charging in extremely low temperatures. There are more useful techniques that will help you warm your car batteries, such as defrosting the vehicle and adjusting the cabin's temperature before trying to drive. Additionally, the manufacturer advises letting the automobile prepare the battery for a charge before charging it in the winter. According to the owner's manual for the Model S, Tesla recommends using Trip Planner to navigate to a charging location for at least 30 to 45 minutes before arrival to ensure optimal battery temperature and charging conditions. If the drive to the charging location is less than 30 to 45 minutes, consider preconditioning the battery before driving. There are some cold weather factors that are specific to Tesla. For example, when charging at a chilly temperature at a supercharger, odorless steam may emerge from the front of your car. According to the firm, this is typical and shouldn't be alarming since, in certain cases, it's a feature of the heat pump. Opening the door of the Model S while the battery is low might also be difficult. Normally, the car will automatically adjust the windows to make the operation easier. Always connect to an external, low-voltage power supply before opening a door when the vehicle has no power. Tesla advises to avoid breaking a window, storms of ice and snow, as communities attempt to strengthen themselves against the cold, libraries have opened as warming centers and schools have been shuttering in Chicago and other cities. It is being advised that residents of Baltimore and Washington, D.C. should prepare for the coldest day of the year at this point. It's time to wrap up the video. Be careful whenever you're out there. It is not advisable to take the cold lightly. Regardless of whether your car is electric or not, you should always keep a cold kit with blankets and candles in it if you reside somewhere with chilly weather.